Hi, today we're at Joshua Tree National Park. And I'm at the Choya Garden. And look at this, miles and miles of jumping teddy bear cacti. So let me tell you about these guys. This is Cylindropuntia bigelovii. He's also called a Bigelow Choya cacti. Now he's native to California, Arizona, Nevada, northern Mexico. Now the spines on our teddy bear, they're silver white spines, and the spines are actually a type of leaf. And they're about one inch long, and they're super dense, and they almost completely cover this plant like a big fuzzy surface, right? And it makes it so fuzzy, you just want to give it a big hug, like a teddy bear. That's how it gets the name teddy bear. So this cactus, it loves to grow here in an alluvial fan or the base of these mountains because it gets the most amount of water from all the runoff. So you always find these on these slants, slanted areas. Kind of like what you find out in needles at the Bigelow Wilderness area where they have thousands and thousands of these teddy bear cacti as well. Wow, this guy's pretty big. So here are the flowers of our cholla. They're yellow-green flowers. They emerge at the tips of the segments around May or June. They produce a fruit less than a one-inch diameter. It's a tube-shaped fruit, and it may or may not have spines. But the fruits, they have very few seeds, and those seeds themselves are not very viable. So this plant, in order to propagate, it mostly does it by dispersal of the stems or the segments. So the stems here, they're very sticky and they'll attach to you or uh, some sort of animal and the animal will then carry it across the desert to repropagate it. And also, they'll tend to fall on the ground like we have here. And then if an animal steps on it, it'll carry it across the desert. And if that doesn't happen, it may just germinate right where it stands. And you notice this plant is very bare at the trunk as it goes up to the top, right? So all these here have already fallen off. And these here, these brown guys, they'll fall off later and later and later until you get to the top. And that's how this guy likes to propagate. And that's why they call it a jumping teddy bear cactus because these little segments, they'll tend to jump out at you if you walk too close, so be careful. So if you look closely at the flower, see the stamens with the little yellow anthers with the pollen? If you touch, if you touch the stamens, they kind of bend in all by themselves, and that way they envelope the pollinator to distribute more pollen. Yeah, look at that. Here in this guy, we have a little nest right here. And that's probably from a cactus wren. So our desert wood rat, what he'll do is he'll pick up all these segments falling off the ground. He'll pile them up like this to make a wood rat den. All right. And carefully, these little spots here, these are the openings to his home. He'll have four or five different openings around here. Go here, take a look at that. All right, so this is where our desert wood rat lives, and he's like all over this place. So, check this out here right, the trunk and the bark of this plant gets dried up here, and you notice it's hollow inside. Look at that. So, what you do, and the Native Americans did this too is you take these, connect them together, you can make pipes to move water around. Yeah, and here's another big nest. Look at this here. Wow. So all these piles of segments serves as a little home for a little desert wood rat. Sometimes you see little openings. 
Now, sometimes you see these little bare spots here, like here. All right, that's where a critter, like a wood rat, maybe one of the birds, like a wren, they'll strip this bark, or they'll strip off the outer layer to use that as nesting material. All right, so here's a great example of a nest, All right? There's this little entrance right there. Perfect, it looks like it goes all the way around this whole area. So in addition to our jumping teddy bear cholla, we have our hedgehog cacti, we've got beaver tail, we have pencil cholla, we also have plants, we have our brittle bush, desert lavender, desert starvine, white ratney, trixus, and a narrow leaf forget-me-not. So there's tons of stuff to see here, you really got to check it out. All right, so I hope you liked that video out in Joshua Tree National Park of this beautiful chilia garden completely filled with our jumping teddy bear, Cylindropuntia bigelovii. Wow, I love this place. All right, have a great day. Thanks for watching, bye.